Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Henrik the Lawn Care Kid here, back with another video. I'm actually hanging out here at my yard. We are doing some preseason maintenance. I got Lucas over here. We are actually just about to open up the enclosed and do oil changes on all the mowers and the stand on blower in there. We just did an oil change on the truck and on the van, but the struggle with the truck was uh, we didn't have an oil filter wrench with us, uh, which was kind of a mistake, but hey, I guess that's just how it goes sometimes. So we had to punch through this oil filter and it was not fun. Lucas was not amused. He's covered in oil, but we got it changed. So the van and the truck are all ready to go. We're gonna do oil changes on the mowers, probably some fuel filters. Um, this mower actually is good, but everything inside the trailer needs a change. So we're gonna go open up the trailer, but another thing we forgot is the keys to the trailer. They're actually at my house. So don't wanna drive 15, 20 minutes across town. I'm actually gonna grab the angle grinder and we are gonna cut the lock on the trailer. But first I need to grab a battery out of the van. All right, I'm in the trailer right now. Uh, this door was unlocked, but the back door is not unlocked, so we can't get the mowers out. Uh, first, I'm gonna figure out how to open up these safety glasses, because safety first. Um, come around back here, uh, and we are gonna do a little angle grinding action. This one here is actually uh, locked up. I don't know what the deal is here, but this one's locked. Uh, so, let's see what we can make happen. So I made it through on the top. Um, I don't know if you can see that that's loose there. Now I'm gonna figure out how to get to the bottom here. Uh, don't try this at home and don't steal anybody's trailer. Just, we're doing this because we need to do it. We might be out of battery here, but we're gonna try to finish it off. There we go. That's hot. And just like that, we're open. We're down one puck lock, but that's okay. Yep. And we have a flat tire on the vertex. So we got a few things we need to work on today. Uh, well, that's no good. All right, so now we're starting to think that it is a starter problem because when you turn the key, it sounds like it's turning over pretty quick or something's happening pretty quick. So little blade to the starter solenoid. What do you think, Lucas? I don't know. Some with starter or just a problem. Big problem. Uh, well, it's under warranty if it's anything bad, but I can't imagine it's a bad issue. Should we try grabbing the jumper cables and seeing if that does anything? I guess. You got any candy in there? Hey, be quiet. Get the <laughs> jumper cables. <laughs> Pulling the van up to the trailer. Put it in park. Where's the hood pop? All hooked up, Lucas? There we go. All right, let's see if this did anything. There we go. That was the issue. Dead battery. Uh, I heard a lot of guys take their batteries out of their machines in the winter and put them inside. It might have been smart, but we're built different. Oh, I don't know if you guys saw, but we actually got uh, company graphics on the van and my GMC Duramax. Uh, but it looks pretty solid. What do you think, Lucas? I think it looks great. It makes the business look a lot better when we're at a property or anything. So yeah, definitely. It's not a it. not a creepy white van anymore. Yeah. Ferris cold start. Let's see what she's got. Choke up. Throttle down. Uh oh. That's no good. Give it a second. Sometimes it does this. Uh. All 
right, let's see if Lucas had any luck starting. Uh, oh, he's starting it right now. Let's see. Pretty tight through here. So what do you guys think? Uh, since we did the graphics on that, whoa, the trailer is uh, sagging a little bit because it's not hooked up to the trailer, but or to, to a truck, but did the graphics. I uh, think we're gonna do them on the enclosed as well, just to give it a professional look. But we're just coming around. Lucas, what's your game plan here? I'm uh, just gonna push this thing down there. Okay. And it's gonna be a little dripping. I see, I see. I found it down here. No. Oh, I didn't find it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, the ver oil change on the Vertex is not easy. But on the lasers, it's pr pretty straightforward. As well as this Ferris here. It's all on the side. Okay, so Lucas got all the oil drained out. What's your next step, Lucas? I get this filter off, but it's on there pretty tight right now. So oh, yeah, it's way have, down there. Might have a little bit of a struggle, but nothing we can't handle. Just finished the oil change on all three of these machines right here. Um, let them ran for a second, check the oil levels. Everything is looking good. Now we are working on uh, fuel filters on uh, the three lawnmowers we have here. So uh, Lucas is getting started here. He's trying to pull this one off. Uh, how Do you know how often you're supposed to change oil or a fuel filter? No, I'm not sure. I'm not sure either. If you guys know, comment down below. Um, this Vertex has like... Uh, like 500 hours and uh, this is our first fuel filter uh, so I don't know how often are you supposed to change them I couldn't imagine too often probably once a season uh, which is what we're doing with the vertex so we're gonna get that changed Lucas is literally just squeezing it on there it's going all right not too difficult I, I couldn't imagine so and what that just shoves on there yep Cool. And put the clamp back on and then it's good. Easy enough. A little bit of a struggle with this clamp, but. That's all right. Nothing, nothing ever goes to plan. All right, let's try starting it up. See if it'll, if it'll start, if it'll get that fuel through the system. <laughs> like that that filter is full of fuel now perfect here we go well i had a great idea to see how well the van tows the enclosed trailer so we actually haven't set up our seven pin connector yet there's only a four pin down here so no trailer brakes but uh, we don't need that we have two laser z's and a vertex in the back of this trailer um trailer itself weighs like i think 3500 pounds so we're uh pushing 8,000, 10,000 pounds behind the van. So let's see what she's got. There's a lot of mud going up to the road, so the van might get stuck, but let's see what she's got. Oh my God, what the? Yeah, the van's moving. A little questionable, but. All right, so we're about to take the trip up the driveway, but up there by our gate, there's a big mud hole and this two-wheel drive van is towing 10,000 pounds. Uh, you think we're gonna make it, Lucas? Uh, I don't know about this. Might be a little sketch. All right. We're giving her the beans. All you got. Hold on. Dude, on my side, the trailer's oh, covered in mud. We got the trailer. We made it! Oh, <laughs> this, this van's got all the power. All right, let's stop. Let's see it stopping. Woo! Well, That's not we're, too bad. We're not trailer brakes, but 
give me like a week or two, I'll probably get them installed. Uh, I don't know how to do it myself, but we got the module here. It's just not turning on, so. Yep. Uh, we'll figure it out. All right, let's, uh, we'll turn on to this main road, see how this thing tows. Yep. So far, like it feels just fine. Like. Let's uh, let's get out real quick at the stop sign and see how it's looking. All right. Whoa, this is quite the setup. It looks pretty good, honestly. I like it. I installed this uh, this hitch system down here last week, and it looks like it's holding up all right. Lucas, what do you think of the setup? Very practical. I think. Little very practical, okay. Yeah. Those words don't really go together, but I like it. We uh, made it down the road a little bit, still towing this humongous trailer with this E250 van. I'm honestly impressed. Like, it tows really good for like, for a, a, you know, a 4.6 liter V8 van. I'm impressed. With eight to 10,000 pounds behind us, it's also very impressive. I would never have this van tow uh, quite this much. The most I would ever have it tow is probably, um, oh, there goes wine guards. If you guys know wine guards, you guys know what's up. But I would never have this van tow such a large trailer. The most it would probably ever tow is an enclosed with two uh, Laser Z sit down mowers, which is probably 4,000 pounds less than what I'm towing right now. Um, but we're gonna turn out here and I'm just gonna mash on it, and you guys are just gonna listen to the power of the band. There's not much. <laughs> All right, we're floored. She gets up and goes, though. Like, I, it takes her a minute, but once she gets up in the RPM, she pulls. She gets to just about red line, but that's okay. All right, now we're hitting the brakes. Obviously, the trailer brakes aren't set up just yet, so it's a little sketchy turning and braking, but um, I will get that situated. But I'm impressed. All right, now we're off-roading with the van. Trying to get it back in its parking spot, hitting the berm right here. Whoop! Oh yeah, whoa! <laughs> it's a bumpy ride. All right, we're getting it back into its spot. Well, I appreciate you guys watching today's video. Just wanted to get you guys a little bit of content of uh, Lucas and I getting ready for the lawn care landscaping season. Um, but yeah, we did oil changes, a bunch of stuff uh, on the trucks and mowers. So all that should be good to go uh, for at least the first month or two of the mowing and uh, landscaping season. Just grabbed some batteries out of the van. Uh, I'm going to get them charged up because that dump trailer we're using tomorrow has a flat on it. So uh, I got to charge the batteries for my Milwaukee Impact to take that wheel off tomorrow. Um, but yeah, we organized some stuff a little bit better here around the yard, which is nice. Um, but, and then over there's my truck and then our dumpster. But I appreciate you guys watching today's video. Um, stay tuned guys, I'm gonna try to start posting more. I really like and enjoy bringing content to you guys, uh, but it is a pain to post and upload and edit that whole deal. But I know you guys like it, so I'm gonna try my best to keep you guys posted. But appreciate you guys watching today's video and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, bye.